हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर लेबोरेटरी दैट हाउ यू कैन डिजाइन अ प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर लेबोरेटरी एंड व्हाट इंस्ट्रूमेंट शुड बी देयर इन दैट लैब सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर लेबोरेटरी सो हाउ यू कैन डिजाइन अ टिपिकल प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर लेबोरेटरी सो फॉर दिस you should have a separate area for a separate task so you must have first the washing room because definitely you will start any experiment after washing means you have to wash the apparatus wash the glassware so you must have a washing room in which you can perform the washing of the different materials for this means in the washing room you should have a sink water supply and the chemicals for the washing the next area should be the sterilization room because in the plant tissue culture experiment the each and everything which you will use will be proper sterilized so for the sterilization you must have a separate room and in that separate sterilization room you should have the sterilizing instruments and the chemicals like you must have autoclave hot air oven and the various sterilizing chemicals and you must have the uv lights for the sterilization the next area for the plant tissue culture lab should be the media room so this is that room in which you will prepare the media so this room should be equipped with the all media ingredients it should have all the chemicals culture vessels and the glassware because you have to prepare your media in this particular room the next area or room should be the transfer room so this is that room in which you will transfer your x plant to the culture media so if you if you will transfer your x plant so you should transfer it under the aseptic condition so for this you must have the laminar air flow so laminar air flow is a instrument which will provide you the aseptic conditions so the laf should be there in the transfer room and it should have some chemicals which will be used during the transfer and the instrument or the apparatus which will be used during the transfer should be in the transfer room the next area or room should be the culture room so this is that room which will contain all the cultures means you will incubate your cultures in this room so this room must be equipped with either with the incubators in which you will uh, place your cultures and the incubators will maintain the specific humidity as well as the temperature conditions and it should have the tissue racks in which you will place your you can say the plant tissue culture in the tissue racks the next area that observation room so it is that room in which you will observe your experiments or observe your data so it this room it must have the microscope because definitely you will need the microscope during the observation so these are the typical you can say these the typical layout of a plant tissue culture laboratory so it will depend upon your budget if you have a sufficient budget so you must have a separate room for the separate task but if you have a limited budget so in that case you you can make the compartments means a small compartments for each these these rooms means one compartment will be of washing one will be of sterilization and so on so it ultimately depend upon your budget means either you have a separate complete room for a separate task or you must have some compartments some t- uh, some small compartment for these work but this is a typical you can say the design or layout of a plant tissue culture laboratory that you must have washing room sterilization room media room transfer room culture room and the observation room now what the instrument what instrument should be there or equipment should be there in your plant tissue culture laboratory so you must have laf that is laminar air flow or bio safety cabinet because when you will perform your plant tissue culture experiment so definitely you will perform under aseptic conditions so these laf these are that devices which provide you trial environment so that you can work without any contamination so the laminar air flow or the bio safety cabinet should be there in your lab the next instrument 
or uh, the apparatus that is tissue culture rack so you must have tissue culture racks in your laboratory because in these tissue culture rack you will place or you will incubate your culture these racks these are equipped with the light source that will give a proper light to the culture and they also maintain a specific or optimum temperature so tissue culture rack should be there in the laboratory next centrifuge definitely you will need centrifuge so as you know centrifuge is a device which just separate the particle on the basis of the centrifugal force so you must need centrifuge during your experiment so the centrifuge should be there in your lab the next refrigerators and freezers means there are some chemicals which you have to keep at the you can say the low temperature so for these you must needed the refrigerator and some chemicals will be incubated or will be placed at minus 20 degree for that kind of chemical you should have the deep freezer so the refrigerator and deep freezer should be there in your lab next water bath so definitely during your experiment you will need this instrument so water bath is a instrument or a device which maintain water at a constant temperature so during your experiment you have to place your some chemicals at a specific temperature in the water bath so in that case you will need the water bath and during the thawing means once you frozen your material and when you want to use the frozen material so first you have to thaw that so for thawing you definitely need this water bath so the water bath should be there in your laboratory next microscope so as the microscope you know it is an instrument which is used to see the you can say see the objects at the high magnification level so this microscope will definitely be there in a, any particular laboratory because you you can see the small particle which cannot be seen by the naked eyes so in that case you will definitely need the microscope the next instrument is autoclave so as i told the each and everything which will be used in the plant tissue culture experiment should be properly sterilized and sterilization can be done by many methods and one of them or you can say the most commonly used is the wet sterilization which can be done by the autoclave so autoclave is an instrument which sterilizes the material on the basis of the you can say the steam pressure and temperature so it generally operate or we operate the sterilization at 121 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes at 15 psi so the autoclave should be there in a plant tissue culture laboratory the next filters means when the media components they cannot be autoclaved they cannot be sterilized by any other method so in that case you can filter out your media components or solutions means the solution we cannot be autoclave that can be degraded by the heat so in that case you will use some filters that will sterilize your solutions by filtration so for this we generally use 0.22 micron meter pore size filter for the filter sterilizations as you can see in the two pictures the above one this one these are the you can say the membrane filter and the assembly is the vacuum assembly while these are the syringe filters in which you just put your solutions in the syringe and place the filter at the uh, you can say the knob or the mouth of syringe and just press your syringe now the solution will come from another end of this filter and the solution is now sterile means it is now free from the pathogen so by this filter these can be used for the sterilization so these filters or this filter vacuum assembly should be there in the laboratory next ph meter definitely when you will make some solutions so in that case you have to check out the ph of that particular solution because that solution will be used at a particular ph so in order to check out the ph a ph meter should be there in the laboratory this ph meter it measure the ph or you can say the acidity or basicity of a solution so it should be there in the lab weighing balance definitely as you will go for making the solutions so first you have to weigh you have to weigh out particular component at a specific weight so for this you will definitely need the weighing scales or weighing balance the next shaker in some cases you have to place your culture or your sample 
at continuous shaking so in that case you will definitely need this continuous shaker so these are typical devices which will shake your material continuously and as well as they will you can say maintain the temperature of your sample also so in the plant tissue culture generally for the cell growth some kind of agitation or mixing is necessary so for this we can use these shakers for the proper mixing and agitation of the plant suspension culture so that's why the shaker incubator should be there in the laboratory next definitely you will need these scissors scalpel and forceps because once you will have your explant so in that case you will go for the dissection of your plant part and after the dissection you will use that plant part in the experiment so for the dissection and various purpose you must have the basic uh, needs like uh, forceps scissors and scalpels now the glassware and plastic ware should be there in the lab which is the basic necessity of any lab so in the plant tissue culture laboratory this may include like magenta box so these are the boxes which are used for the culturing and you must have the beakers pipette for pipetting out the solutions and a measuring cylinder for making the solutions conical flasks petri plates for the culturing and test tubes so these are some basic instrument you must know about them so these should be uh, this glassware and plastic ware should be there in the laboratory now the greenhouse in case of the plant tissue culture laboratory one uh, room or the one area should be of greenhouse so this greenhouse is a structure that regulate the climate condition like temperature light humidity and it mimic the you can say it mimic the external environment condition so in the greenhouse your plant which you made in the plant tissue culture laboratory so they will adapt themselves to the field condition in the greenhouse so this greenhouse is a very much important part of any plant tissue culture laboratory means beside the plant tissue culture laboratory you must have greenhouse for your experiments so this is all about that uh, how you can design a plant tissue culture laboratory and what are the main instruments that should be in the laboratory so this is all about for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much